you know, he gave you some hard examples here, so we'll have to go over another exception. exception when same connectivity still gives you things that are non-equivalent. And this is when you have CH2 in the presence of a stereo center. So let's discuss how many peaks we're going to get here. Well, first of all, do you think these, car these hydrogens on the left, are these equivalent or different from the carbon hydrogens on the right? Different. So I call this B. Mm -hmm. And then I think it's pretty clear this is its own category, so this is C. Mm -hmm. Now, in the in the past, we would have said that these two are equivalent to each other because they're both on the same carbon. In the past, we would have said they're equivalent. But now we've learned about this exception. If you have CH2 hydrogens in the presence of a stereocenter, those are really non-equivalent. Well, are there any stereocenters in this molecule? This is a stereocenter. Remember, a stereocenter is a carbon attached to four different groups. Well, this carbon here is attached to four different groups. Therefore, these are non-equivalent to each other, and they have to get different letters. So we're on to D and E. This would have to be called hydrogen D, and this one would be E. Even though they have the same connectivity, they're both connected to the same exact carbon, however, there's still a difference in their environment. And you can see what the difference in their environment is. It's kind of the same as this cis trans relationship. This hydrogen, in a sense, is on the same side as this fluorine, and this hydrogen is trans to that fluorine in a sense, roughly speaking. That's only roughly speaking because you can rotate around here. But it still turns out that this hydrogen has a different relationship to the fluorine than this hydrogen does. Okay, now, again, the, the way, thing to watch out for then is CH2 when you have a, a, a stereocenter someplace else in the molecule. By the way, this is not the official way to tell whether things are equivalent or non-equivalent. The official way to tell whether hydrogens are equivalent or non-equivalent is what's called the substitution test. I don't know if you heard about that, the substitution test. We're actually supposed to tra draw two new pictures where we substitute, say, a Y in for the hydrogens, and then you're supposed to see whether the new pictures are enantiomers or diastereomers. But I always found that pretty confusing and time-consuming, and I think, uh, especially because we're trying to go over a lot of stuff pretty quickly, I think this is going to cover pretty much all the examples you're likely to see. This might not be quite good enough for the very hardest examples, but, but this should cover most of the easy and moderate level problems on the test. So I think this is the best way for us to start learning this since we have a lot of material to cover. So you might have actually seen in your lecture notes a different approach here to determining whether things have the same connectivity or not. Uh, but we're not going to really have time to go over the substitution test. So this will be a good, fast way for us to tell whether things are different. We're simply going to say same connectivity usually means they're equivalent, and we're just going to memorize these two important exceptions. I think there's these are the only exceptions we'll have to spend time on together. So here's the two big exceptions. So how many peaks did we decide we were going to get here? Five. One, two, three, four, five. That's right. Oh, yeah, go ahead. What if that fluorine became another hydrogen? That's a very good question. So,
that would have a couple of results. First of all, that would mean that these two sides were equivalent, right? Mm -hmm. So now we would give the letter A to both the right and the left-hand carbons. But more interesting, are these two hydrogens now going to be the same or different? Well, they have the same connectivity, which usually means they're equivalent, unless we fall into one of these two exceptions here. Well, this is still a CH2 group, but are there any stereocenters around anymore? No. No stereocenters. So now this would be the normal, usual case, where the things on the same carbon are equivalent. So now I would call both of these B. Now I would call both of them B. And actually, for that matter, these would also be Bs, because they're also equivalent, because the, the, the model fluid has more symmetry now. So the key thing to maybe underline here is we're certainly not saying that hydrogens on CH2 groups are always not equivalent. It's only when they're in the CH2 group and they're in the presence of a stereocenter someplace else in the molecule. Stereocenter doesn't have to be close, but it has to be somewhere else in the molecule. So you need these two things together, a CH2 group and a stereocenter. You've got to have a stereocenter or this exception doesn't apply. And we just have the normal example like we've seen before where same connectivity means that they're equivalent. So this would give us two weeks. One lesson here is just because hydrogens are drawn on wedges and dashes doesn't mean they're not equivalent. Just because they're on wedges and dashes doesn't mean they're not equivalent. It all depends on whether there's another stereocenter someplace else in the molecule. That's good. Now, normally we would treat these as equivalent. Normally they would be equivalent because they're on the same carbon. However, here there is a CH2 group in the presence of a stereocenter. So this is our exception where they're really not equivalent. So it looks like you were correct. And we would get four peaks. That's good. Let's try the example that you were given by the instructor. that are here. Let's see, you called these A, mm -hmm. and then out here you had more hydrogens. What did you call these? B. And then this one was? C and B. Good. Normally we would have treated these as equivalent, because they're on the same carbon, but here the exception kicks in because they're in the presence of this stereocenter. So now they are not equivalent. And it was good that you saw there was a hidden hydrogen I hadn't drawn. You have to watch out for those hidden hydrogens. So that would give us E and five peaks. Is that your answer? Yes. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so now we've seen same connectivity usually means equivalent, but we're going to memorize these two exceptions over here about cis versus trans and a CH2 in the presence of a stereocenter. 